Batteries don't last forever, and if the battery in your Steam Deck OLED isn't lasting as long as it used to, it may be time to replace it. Fortunately, it's a repair you can do yourself, and we'll walk you through the whole process. For this repair, you'll need a T6 Torx driver, iFixit opening picks, tweezers, a spudger, scissors, plastic cards, isopropyl alcohol, some aluminum foil, and an eye opener or heat gun. We also recommend using our fix mat to stay organized throughout the repair. And of course, you'll need your replacement battery and battery adhesive. All these tools and parts will be linked in the description below. As always, be sure to follow the repair guide over on ifixit.com so you can see all the tips and tricks for this repair. Before you begin your repair, make sure to fully discharge your battery as a charged lithium ion battery can be dangerous if accidentally punctured. As an extra precaution, Valve recommends putting your Steam Deck into battery storage mode before starting any repairs. To do this, power down your Steam Deck and then hold the volume up button and then press the power button. Once BIOS mode has started up, use the D-pad to navigate to Setup Utility and the Power menu, and then select Battery Storage Mode and select Yes. Your Steam Deck should power down. One last thing, if you have a micro SD card installed, make sure to remove it before opening the Steam Deck. If you attempt to remove the back cover with it still installed, it could snap right in half. Using your Torx driver, remove the eight screws securing the back cover. Keep a careful record of each screw's placement for a smooth reassembly process. Next, insert an opening pick at an upward angle between the back cover and the front shell near one of the triggers. If necessary, try along the top or bottom edges before sliding it toward the handle. Glide your pick along the edge of the handle to release the clip, securing it to the front shell. Reinsert your pick and slide it along the top and bottom edges until the back cover feels loose. Grip the unclipped handle and pull it away from the front shell to release the remaining clips. Go ahead and remove the back cover carefully. Using your fingers, grip the battery cable pull tab located to the left of the battery and firmly pull the battery cable straight away from the motherboard shield toward the battery to disconnect it. Start by unlocking and disconnecting the interconnect cable labeled C-R. Next, grab a pick and cut the adhesive underneath the cable holding it down on the motherboard shield. Then use some masking tape to secure it to the battery so it stays out of the way. Then use your T6 Torx driver to remove the two screws holding the board shield in place. Check to see if the speaker cable is taped to the bottom edge of the motherboard shield. If it is, gently peel it off. You can now remove the motherboard shield. With the shield out of the way, disconnect the interconnect cable from the board on the right side of the Steam Deck and peel the interconnect cable off the battery. We need to remove some cables that block the slots at the bottom of the battery. Using your spudger or tweezers, gently move the antenna cables away so that the slots are clear of any cables we can damage. In order to slice the adhesive near the bottom of the battery, we need two thin plastic cards. Use a pair of scissors to cut a plastic card in half long ways. Make sure to round off any sharp edges as they can puncture the battery. Using some aluminum foil, wrap the Steam Deck so that only the battery is exposed. This helps to protect the plastic frame from heat during the next steps. Use your heat gun or hairdryer on a low setting to heat the battery and soften its adhesive. It's very important not to overheat the battery or any of the surrounding components. Maintain a distance of around two inches above the battery and heat in a circular motion to avoid overheating a single area. Take your time and keep the battery warm for one to three minutes. Grab one of the cut plastic cards and insert the tip of the card into the right slot under the battery, making sure to avoid the antenna cable. Insert a second cut card into the left slot and then push it fully underneath the battery. Now you can push the card on the right slot, fully underneath the battery as well. While avoiding the antenna cables, insert another plastic card along the bottom edge of the battery so you can start prying the battery away from the frame. The battery should lift up and out. The adhesive under the battery is very strong. You may need to repeat the heating and prying process multiple times. Go slow and take your time. Once the battery has been removed, make sure not to reuse it. 
During reassembly, only use a new battery as using one that has been previously removed is a potential safety hazard. For reassembly, dampen a lint-free cloth with isopropyl alcohol and clean the battery well to remove any leftover adhesive. Do not apply alcohol directly to the battery well as this might damage the panel sitting underneath it. Next, grab your new battery and check to see if it has adhesive pre-installed. If it doesn't, remove the protective liners on the adhesive and lay them on the battery. Remove the final liner and insert the new battery into the space in the midframe, and then press down firmly to engage the adhesive. Reconnect the interconnect cable on the right side of the steam deck and then tape the interconnect cable out of the way. Then grab your spudger or use your fingers and slide the battery connector into its socket on the motherboard. Now you can lay the motherboard shield back over the motherboard and screw it back into place. With that secured, go ahead and lay the interconnect cable back over the motherboard shield and reconnect the ZIF cable. Grab your back cover and carefully align the long edges with the device and press down gently. The clips should snap back into place and sit well. If not, be sure it is aligned properly. Then screw in the eight torque screws securing the back cover in place. Now just remember to plug your Steam Deck into power to get it out of storage mode, and that's it.